score out real quick as well. Going to the finals, zero to zero. It's the best of three. We got Dewey versus Genic. Now here we go. Let's watch this play out. Guys, while we wait, I want to thank you guys again for all the follows. I appreciate the uh, Dark Souls hates you for the five dollar dono today, and then uh, uh, Horex. What's up, Horex? If you're still here, man, thank you again. I appreciate that for the for the fleet donation of one three three seven thirteen thirty seven. Man, thank you so much. Thank you guys again all for the follows. Dramas for the host. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Again, I'm gonna to try to do this every week here, um, as best I can, depending on what's going on. Like, uh, as soon as this is over, I got to go. We got uh, some people actually over right now, our family, or her family. Um, so, I'm going to be finishing this one out, uh, getting right off. Let's see, maybe we can host someone, a nice little host after this. But, um, yep. All right, so on map one, we got Corrupted Keep, Molten, and Awoken. On Corrupted Keep, we have uh, Aizen, picked by Genic, and Dewey, picked by Galena. Dewey is picked by Galena. Go Galena. Good pick, if I had to say so myself. Dewey is the newest character added to Quake Champions. Holy shit, dude. All right. Genic has banned Visor for Molten Falls. Quick, what's his active ability? Parkinson's LG. <laughs> Done. Um... <laughs> Smash his desk. Riff Sparkinson's. Holy shit. All right. Sorlag was picked by Dewey. Got him. And Nyx, of course, goes to Genic. One of his favorite champions. <laughs> desk smash will be good. Are you sure? I think that ability was already taken by Everless. Just saying. Dewey was picked by Sorlag. It's a popular pick tonight. I don't know what's going on. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> All right, so now they're picking the last map. If it happens to go to a best of three, it goes to the third map. We got Awoken. Slash Van Dewey on the first map. How are they picking him? Ranger has also opted to Van Dewey. Wow. They really do not like him. Personal Vendettas. All right, you guys can't see this, so I'm going to leave it down here. So Awoken. Genic is debating what characters are left and what will be the best for him. If I was him, I would pick Doom, but that's just me personally. He may be a little nervous, and he does pick Doom. Good choice, in my opinion. I do like the ban. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised by this ban, but but maybe not. I mean, I feel like Genic would have picked Nyx anyway. He's a big fan of Nyx. So, I mean, I, I, I kind of up to him. Awoken. That's a tough choice, I'd say, for for Dewey. He may pick Strog. He also may pick BJ. That's not a bad matchup. He does he does want to give us the Strog and the Peeker again. All right, so this is what we got going on. I'm going to tab back into game. They're probably going to post it in the chat. There it is. There it is again. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> sure give me three all right so they're gonna be chilling for a minute they're gonna go to the bathroom get some water restock replenish go for a little uh mental break before they get back into these high pressure games this is for this is for second place for genic this is for first place no matter what for dewey but it's still important for dewey to win this because he wants to continue his growth on his his first place lead right now genic really needs this win though because he he was one of the players that like was so sure and you know he's again it's only week three still plenty of weeks left but he was so sure that he was going to make his uh make his mark and uh make it to the top two but he's now been kind of struggling to get to that point and so this is now his like first week where he's made it to the finals he's kind of been dropped out a little earlier 
in the bracket the last two weeks. I thought it was one pick per champion. Roof. Kind of odd that he picked. Well, I mean, he. I would agree. Um, Green. I just think he maybe feels more pressured against a uh, a, a ranger, maybe. Or, or I, I, I would, I would be surprised as well at that pick. To be quite honest with you, I mean, I would be the one that'd want to pick and play Doom, as I'm playing tomorrow Doom on Awoken. But, I mean, I guess it's, it's kind of. Maybe Dewey feels a little more comfortable playing against Doom. And he wanted to potentially like look into playing Shrog or BJ. Who are you playing this week, Justin? I forgot. I'm playing Sib this week. I'm playing Sib tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time. So 4 p.m. Eastern. Roof. What's up, DJ Change? Finished desk yet? Yeah, man, where were you? Don't let us down. I'll do my best, man. All right. I feel like uh, yesterday, after I played Nostra for a while, then I started playing uh, some other games. I was starting to feel aim a little bit better. So I'm going to continue that. Not sure if I'll play tonight, but I'm definitely playing tomorrow morning um, to get that practice in to make sure I'm prepared and ready for my game at 3 p.m. Central Time, 4 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right? I'm going to go buy some beer. Can't wait to drink some tonight. Fuck. <laughs> Do you, boo-boo. I'm down to twice a week. Good. I'm proud of you. Carnage, I'm proud of you. I'll attempt to be up at noon so I can watch. It's tough. Roof. Are you shitting me, DJ Change? Dude, I was up here in Norway shoveling snow. It's 100 degrees today outside. 100 degrees. Skin and reindeers? What the F? Are you wearing the coat, dude? Like, I just wear normal normal coats. I don't know what they're made from. Maybe it is reindeer. Same weather here. Is it really? You guys at 100 today? Holy shit. How do you win? I'm at 100. <laughs> what the fuck? Modus lives in my uh, my basement. He's in Seattle-ish. Let's see. One more, what does my official oops weather app say right now? I know it said it was going to be up to 100, but what is the actual temperature? Because it also has like, the real feel and all that shit. Look. Yep, 98 right now. Same temperature as you, uh, Dan. But the high is still supposed to be 100, so I'm not sure if we're still like planning on hitting that. Nope, it's it's down, down, down from here. So it's it's already hit its 100 today. Now at 98, so gladly, happily, just record high temperatures tomorrow. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking place, dude. It's all right, guys. This next week we're gonna be mid 90s. <laughs> My parents were like, "It's like 40 degrees out this weekend." I'm like, "Are you kidding me right now? 40 degrees?" Oh my god. Promote me quick. Oh god, I gotta try, dude. I gotta try, dude. I'm trying. Permit. There we go. <clears throat> no, Modus got it. Okay. Alright, you're a fucking nerd. All the sweaty eyes and it's kind of wild. Three, two, one, go outside. Fight. I'm allergic to the sun. Holy shit, dude. Alright, we're gonna get underway with this game. This is the finals. Against, I gotta switch my scene against Dewey and Genic. Genic run around and see if Dewey lets anything up. But Dewey has a rocket spinning onto him. He actually traded positions now. Dewey, you're doing great damage. Getting good positioning. Not giving up anything right now. Spamming the. Rock is onto the Mega right now. I would say actually Genic may have gotten a better trade off of that, but Dewey has heavy <coughs> to fall into, so really a net gain for, for Dewey here.
Phoenix still not exactly sure where he is, but Dewey scrams and rocks down the portal access. Dude, not really wanting to push, push in, give up any type of damage or frag for Phoenix. Dewey again, up by quad area, spamming onto the mega, but brought him down exactly to 75 health, which all that does for him is in the mega, which is the max deck, so should be all good right here. Both players playing conservative, respecting their opponent and their abilities. Dewey, though, pushing in, taking 100 damage, immediately gets pushed back. Should be fine, though. Falls right back into the, the health. Phoenix going on to Mega. Oh my Dewey, insane damage. Phoenix not sure where to go. Dewey switches to the head from Jigas to Frag. Forcing to spawn out by the LG. Phoenix got to try, maybe has perspective, but just runs right into him, gives him a free frag. Dewey now has overstack with his totems. If he rotates to the upper one, he can have a huge, huge stack going into this next fight. Phoenix gets actually tickled and dropped down to the lower level. What the F is happening, dude? You're a demon. You're a demon. The double notifications. Thank you so much, Tiger Bob. 209. For the Twitch Prime sub, man. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, dude. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. It's like the Quake version of Crazy Frog. Exactly. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Dewey again. He, he knows how to play slow when he needs to. Doing some, some easy damage onto the Genic. Not giving him too much damage. We're trying to be respectful onto Genic again. Genic just trying to get some health stack back up. That little totem damage is actually gonna force Dewey. Not force Dewey, force Genic away. Really well played by Dewey so far. Up two frags, six minutes left. Dewey's running, running low on these rockets right now. It's one more. Oh, runs out of both LG and rockets. Could be extremely dangerous here. Throws a nice rocket spam onto Genic though. Has no ammo to work with. Luckily, that's Turst to fall back into though. Genic, not knowing that the heavy was actually taken. Dewey, here's the portal. Genic takes another 40 damage from that totem. Takes down another 100 rocket and dies. 3-0 for Dewey. This is the map one of the finals. Phoenix pushing in, taking the exact 100 damage after. So. Oh my god, man. But Phoenix gets the spawn. Players just wanting to fight right there, apparently. Playing, playing smart and slow to changing the style up to a little bit of aggression. I don't really think he needs to do this because he's been, been fine so far with this, this slow, safe play. He's giving up a lot of frags. It's about two frags in about a minute. Phoenix now putting the pressure on. Knows he can do this. He's in full control and Dewey is just being... All kinds of aggressive just to try and get some good damage onto Genic. Definitely throwing. This stage. See if uh, Dewey can hit some nice rockets as he typically does. Very close to connecting, but misses both. It decides to actually back off and give Genic the heavy. Genic deciding to leave it up right now. Dewey should see this. Dewey's pushing in. Hits a nice uh, rocket, but unfortunately, Genic cuts him off just at the right time. 
to get the frag and the heavy. Oh man. Unique returning with some sick rockets himself. Dewey actually gets the mega, so both players actually have an even stack right now. Dewey's pushing in towards the LG. Genie wants to challenge a little bit, do some damage as much as he can. Dude, with a good good running running away decision. That was great. He took minimal damage, got away, and got the heavy. Dewey now with a huge stack because he has overstack on totems. Oh my god. Genie is, is is kind of giving up so much right now. Dewey, he has the overstack of totems, and, and I don't actually realize, think Genie realizes that. He finally sees the totem, let's see if he actually wants to kill, shoot it. He just wants to do damage, and, and he's doing great damage, to, to be fair. But he hasn't killed the totems, and Dewey just got another totem back up. Yeah, Genie with the, the, the bad decision here, but luckily gets away with four health. Dewey's like, I'm not gonna let you, but the timing just wasn't there. For Dewey and his, and his pressure. Keenick just, again, making an odd decision where he, he wants to try and do some damage, but really all it's gonna amount to is, is Dewey getting a frag. And here we go, we have Overstack again. Again, I don't think Genic really is real. He knows that Genic, or Dewey has the Overstack, but he's just not prepared to push in and get the. to kill the totems. He's just leading them up. He's had so many opportunities, he's finally gonna make the decision to I'm gonna deliberately go out of my way and and, and kill them. Dewey though doing some good damage. Game tied five to five. A minute and a half left. Looks like Genic actually is gonna have the position for the heavy, which is gonna give him a huge stack advantage going into the next fight. Oh my gosh, Dewey though with some insane damage actually is the mega that was left up by Genic. to put the pressure on but for no reason he's not gonna get the frag off of that Genic doing a great job keeping the pressure up keeping the stack up making sure he doesn't have to give anything or any position in place to do he do he actually takes the mega he's running away now 50 seconds left down one frag let's switch over to Dewey's point of view see what he can do to make up this frag rushing in Genic trying to plus back towards the Oh, anyway, it's fine. Oh no. Dewey again running into Eisen turret. Genic leaving heavy up. Delaying it quite a bit. Dewey sees this. He actually just realized, oh no, I gave him both items. I'm the one that has to get the frag, not him. Dewey's pushing in right now, putting a lot of pressure on, doing good damage. Genic is not returning it. He gets the frag with 10 seconds left, tying the game. Oh my God, this Dewey is is, is the guy I want to see. He is nuts today. These comebacks. Sudden death. He sees Genic trying to push in. Both players get one major item. Dewey has the turret. Genic wanted to push in, taking 77 damage. Dewey wants the challenge again. There's another ring. Oh my god, Dewey is fucking nuts today, guys. Holy shit, again. Down a frag. Oh, what just happened? Effortless dropped his keyboard. <laughs> Took a screenshot, it's fine. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Dewey is the comeback kid, as Trauma said. He wants this victory. And my god, he's earning it. Dude, Dewey, Dewey is the M&M right now. Knees weak, palms are sweaty. He's got some vomit on his sweater. That's why he has his mouse cam up. Just saying. Oh my god. This crazy, crazy matchup. Oh, it's not 2-0. Type the right key. There we go. There we go. Mouse pad is fucking soaked from sweat. <laughs> Holy shit.
knees weak, arms spaghetti. <laughs> no. Worst commentator ever. No, nah, it's actually someone's name. Super G uh, me GTI. Also, yeah, learn to spell, kid. <laughs> Go back to school. Idiot. Nah, Layla's. I love you. Love my commentating, okay? Listening to Justin. Nah, dude, I'm kidding too. I don't care. Do whatever you want, man. Talk shit on my channel. It's fine. Just don't be, you know, a racist piece of shit. It's fine. Here we go, dude. Here we go. The casting couch is ready. Just, just start. Don't wait for me, dude. I don't give a shit. You're an American. What's that supposed to mean, dude? Right? Is that another insult you guys have in your country for Americans? Dead to me. I like your commentary. You shouldn't. This is my, this is my third time ever trying to cast. It's very relevant. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like the next map is going to be Molten Falls. Snorlag versus Nyx. Kind of an odd matchup. Not one we've really seen. But Dewey, the CPM player, loves that style as well. Nyx, one of G Nyx's favorites. See if he can pull it out of his pocket. Small pocket. Or actually, they're non-existent because women's pants, am I right? Um, when I think things are relevant, I think effortless. <laughs> Want to see a map three. Hey. I'm a Borkin. Right, man. I'm not here to entertain you. It's for my entertainment. See how stupid I could be on a daily basis. You're here just to witness it. Prepare to fight. No. Round begins in. Just when we're saying he talks about pants. Two, Listen. One, fight. All right, we're going to start off here on Dewey. We're going to make sure follow killer is on. Spam that button. Dewey leaving heavy up. Actually trying to opting to push instead. Trying to do as much damage as he can. Then going to rotate back to the heavy. Those items are now split a little bit. He's trying to force the invis. And he does. Really weak though. So he has time. Oh my. Hits the rail to kill Genic. Had to have hit it. Had to be clutch. And he does. Just like these last two comebacks he's had. He is all ready with those clutch shots. Those clutch comebacks. Those clutch everything. It is his prerogative today. That was probably the most interesting decision he's done thus far today. Um, staying around with no health versus Genic with both items. One to one. Genic trying to challenge. Hits a nice rail, but didn't have Invis up. So luckily, Dewey didn't do enough damage to kill him. Dewey rushing in now. Doesn't actually know the time, so he's just kind of like risking it all for the biscuit and then... Phoenix decides, well, I, I know the time. I'm the professor in this matchup, so I'm going to uh, teach you a lesson. Phoenix may need to get one of these vials or two to... I'm sure he has his, his invis up, but he's just waiting it out. He knows Heavy's not going to be up before it. Listening to where Solag is running. Uses it already. Gives Dewey the Heavy, but Dewey cho chooses correctly and goes through the portal. Yeah, missing all of his rockets. Dewey, huge sack. Doesn't need to do anything but survive. Knocks Phoenix off the map. Actually suicides rather than giving a frag. Do we respectfully give Genic the, the Mega? I'm not trying to do anything too crazy. You 
and it goes in fist once again. He can get the telefrag and he does! He gets the telefrag on a Dewey! Barely enough health! Oh, it was actually super clean, too. Dewey didn't even expect it. But Mega and item, Mega and Heavy are relatively the same time, so he does not have enough time to get over to him and get a, for the Heavy to challenge for it. It's not anymore, Carnage. They've kind of taken those out. Telefrag does the same amount of damage. I think I think they do 75 damage, I think. I could be wrong, I think maybe it's 100 on Nyx. Both items are up. Phoenix uses his Invis again. Using it offensively and not defensively, which is, I say more fits his play stop. Trying to push in, hit two good rockets. Poisons though. And Dewey actually gets the frag. He being sore like can hold more health than his opponent. And shows that, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a big snack boy. Oh my gosh, that little bit of a dodge actually dodged that rail. The genie goes in for up. He was the gate next to gate and does. Genie barely had like two seconds before his invis is gonna be up again. Orb is 75. I'm not sure if uh Or like is a snack. That sub sound actually works out perfect because it's like, you demon, stop! You demon. It's like double. Alright. Do we choose to go in Viz prematurely? Gina kicks the first rail though. Both players pretty even stack. Both players exchange a rail again. Dewey decides, I'm actually gonna give up the Mega. He can get a rail off. Oh, misses it barely. Thank you, Swang, for the uh, the gifted sub to Carnage Johnson. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. Five minute warning. He's just playing slow, listening to Genix's movements. Seeing if he can't... Uh... Invis was already used, actually. Not sure if Dewey saw it, but Dewey picked up the Mega doing great LG. I think he just used Dewey's ability. Genix Make an interesting decision here of going in Viz before the Mega was actually up with five health. Dewey now getting two frags ahead with four minutes left. See Genix off the spawn, misses the rail. Again, Dewey is already up in this series one to zero. This is a best of three. If Dewey wins this, it's over. Genix. Taking some some poison damage, some acid damage, but oh wow! Phoenix respectfully has to give up the mega. Here's a portal up top. He's starting to run away, but Dewey's again. He's CPM movement. He can just keep pressure, keep pushing. Phoenix is extremely like he's a small character. He has small stacks. Good rail though. Oh no! After using the Invis! Dewey coming in strong! Five to three. Three minutes left. It's looking more and more grim. Let's see if Gina can do anything. He doesn't have Invis here. If Dewey throws some spit down, it could be dangerous for Gina. 50 damage. Gina trying to hit some rails. Knows he kind of needs to. Oh my god, he hits them all. Five to four. Now, Genic with some absolutely nutty rail. Really should not have won that fight against Dewey. It's still railable. Dewey's like, I got railed, but I'm still stacked and in the lead. I now know you don't have Invis up. Genic misses that rail. Crucial rail. 
He needs to keep Dewey weak, but Dewey is just so, so stacked. And Genic doesn't even have Invis. What is Genic going to be able to do right now? He's down a frag, and he's also down every item. He has zero armor. He has to get his Invis up and make a play. He still has time, but with Dewey's second, he's actually sitting with this! Oh, God! Oh, my God, that hurts. Holy Dewey with the excellent, excellent trap. What an excellent setup trap. The Dewey special. He's now up two frags. Three frags. With a minute and a half to go in full control versus a light champion. Genix has no other choice than to plus four. He gets one frag. Mega's about to come up. He has the little bit of health bubbles to pick up. He now has a decent stack. He needs to start keeping that pressure up. Heavy's going to be up soon, but he opts to go all the way around to make sure he has his up in case he needs it. Picks up the light armor. Dewey's like, well, I actually don't need a challenge, so I'm just going to run away because I'm sore lagged, and that's what I do. I have speed. I have momentum, and I'm going to keep running. As long as I can keep this momentum up, you have to you have to get to me. But Dewey using his viz already. Oh, but Dewey hears that. He's underneath LG, just waiting, just listening. Being the sly silver lag that he is. It's time. Listening for the jumps. He hears the jump pad. Genic hears the jump pad. They're both, just, he has to chase. He has, he has 40 seconds to get a frag, get two frags. Effortless 2019, that's him, that's him. He finds him finally, but can, is it enough? Oh my God, Dewey. Just made himself so he's not available, doing some great damage in return. This is looking extremely grim for Genic. 20 seconds left, has two frags to get. Oh, but Dewey just again listening, playing the slow game. Calling the GG. Happy death speedings incoming. Well played to Dewey, man. He is earning his games today. Two great, great comebacks. One was on a map three against Steege, where he did it with a peeker. Wow. This is impressive. Dewey is just looking like a monster these days. He's been putting in a lot of time. Look how much damage. A thousand the more F damage. If you love demon. double sub sounds, now's the time because I'm going to fix that shit, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for swearing. Thank you so much to Squad for the subs, guys. Appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed the casting today. As you said, Squad, thank you for the casting. Thank you being around, sticking around, hanging out with me. Um, it was fun. We had some insane games, dude, as as we seemingly are having every week. This is like this is like college sports where, like, everything is on the line for these guys, man. You know, like, they are the ones that need to earn their spots, the top two. So this is like them earning their spots into the Pro League. So all of these games everywhere are going to be absolutely nutty. Earn their scholarships for sure, man.